Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. I'm in the midst of reading a book titled How Christianity Saved Civilization and Must Do So Again. And while I'm reading this book, I, I became so motivated to pick up my iPhone and share this Hank Unplugged Short because in the middle of the third century, the Roman Empire was not much older than the United States of America is right now. And there are so many parallels. The Roman economy was in dire straits. They were experiencing uncontrollable inflation, multiple wars, bureaucrats spending money they didn't have on bureaucratic niceties as well as military expansion, unemployment as well as underemployment were rampant. Family size well decreased dramatically as kids were increasingly viewed as liabilities. Children were routinely aborted. And infanticide, well, infanticide was deplorably common. Nomadic people were crossing unprotected Roman borders in mass. And all the while, all the while spectator sports were keeping the populace entertained rather than engaged. Christians in that epoch of the Roman Empire were hated for their perceived rigidity and pagan Romans justified their intolerance of Christian virtues by calling the Christians intolerant. The intolerance of Christians came to a head in what is popularly referred to as the Great Persecution, a persecution that lasted some, some 10 years. Well, eventually the church overcame the cultural persecution and became the dominant religion of the Roman Empire. In fact, the church transformed the Roman Empire. And the point of this book is that the church in the 21st century can overcome what might best be described as the great awakening. How? By a great awakening. It can overcome the new paganism just as the pre-Christian world overcame the old paganism. How? Well, by refusing to deny the faith and by being willing to risk our comforts for eternal verities. In other words, by having an eternal perspective. Truth has triumphed in the past. Faith continues to prevail. And Christianity is the only hope for transforming our world. This book is about how Christianity saved civilization in the past and how we must do so again in the present. The book available through the Ministry of the Christian Research Institute, a book that talks about a revolution of the person, the home, of work, of religion, of community, a revolution in our perspective on death, and ultimately a revolution of the state, which can become the harbinger of revolutions of the soul. Thanks for tuning in.